Add so relationship dynamics. I do not consider myself an expert or successful at relationships. However, for reasons having to do with being a sigma and an INTJ, I have been a careful and suspicious viewer of relationships, romantic relationships, for huge amounts of my life. Um, I gave from my teens to my late 20s to a music career where I avoided romantic entanglements and didn't learn about dating, period. Um, and then I eventually married and divorced. Um, I was married at almost 28 and then was at about 15, 16 years of marriage. Um, but I don't talk about a lot. Um, I am over it. I hope to be remarried at some point to someone else. Uh, but for those same kind of Sigma INTJ reasons, I am very analytical, very cautious. Um, and I will analyze certain aspects of that relationship um, in abso grid terminology and in abso relationship dynamics terminology as we go on. Um, observing relationships and thinking to myself, no, I don't want that, I don't want that, well, that looks better than that, um, has been a crucial part of my life and really I wasn't thinking so much in those terms while I was married, but really the analysis of compatibility and psychometric science uh, in MBTI terms uh, and in ABSO terms has been an ongoing, unending uh, analytical process since my divorce where I've thought about what went wrong, what I learned from it, and at this age of 46 years old, what do I now know about myself and what I want in a potential life that will alter how I present myself how I interact with uh, women and how I select differently. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to begin one on each of the abso social roles immediately. Please like and subscribe.